Hey, yo, assalamu alaikum. Peace out of God's and the earth's word is born. This is Supreme Truth and Master. I'm also coming in the righteous name of Emir, which means ruler. Hey, I just want to build on y'all real quick on today's mathematics and stuff, which is two and three, because I was building right before off camera after I got done praying, and I really want to just break this down to y'all until tell y'all how I see today's mathematics. So as I said, today's mathematics is two and three. Two is wisdom, three is understanding. Wisdom is a wise word spoken by the wise man. Wisdom is a manifestation of the foundation, which is the knowledge. Understanding is the best part of living mathematics. It's to see with the third eye, which is the mind. It's also a piece of one draws from knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. Okay, so how do they relate to each other? How do I see them? Simply, just a simple put because, you know, I want to try to make this video short and to the point. You know, how I see them is basically, you know, with, well, let me break down wisdom and then understanding. So wisdom, that that's simply the responsibility of bringing something into fruition it's the act of actually building upon something it's the act of actually you know doing something and you know and it's also bringing it into physicality or also making sure that you're practicing the equality of something because the only way to get to wisdom is from knowledge so you've you, you've looked listened, and observed you know that's that's cool and then you've actually taken the responsibility having the drive and the initiative to put the hard work in and having that responsibility to bring it into the equality and also the equality builds on how you have to want for your brother and your sister is the same that you want for yourself. So just as I want knowledge of self, I want to be civilized and righteous. I want, I'm going to have to want the same for all my brothers and sisters, right? And what is understanding? How do I see understanding? You know, it's the best part. It's once you've combined it, that knowledge and that wisdom as one, as a whole. So you know the inner and outer circumference of shit. You know, you, you understand things, you know, what each and every single aspect plays into the entire system. You know how to use it because you've actually l went through it. You've not only spoke on it, you've actually acted through it. You know, you have actual firsthand experience. You feel me? And all that. And how do and what, what, what do they both mean? How do they relate to each other? As simply as I can put it, basically, that's. The response, because if wisdom is a responsibility and the initiative of actually bringing something into fruition or building or bringing something into existence, that basically just means that by you having understanding of stuff, you know, there's a responsibility that comes with that. You know, you have to actually build on that. So not only have you done it with yourself, you have to bring it into equality because just as coming into wisdom is coming into that equality. Or coming into the next part of something, you know, not only just the mental part of you looking at something, but this part of you speaking on it, as I'm doing now, you know, I'm bringing it into wisdom or bringing it into equality. So just as you having understanding, you have to bring that equality, which represents the second step, which is wisdom into that. You feel me? So it's, it's just the response, because if wisdom is a responsibility of bringing something to fruition, right, by you having understanding, which is number three, you have to do number two, which is wisdom. So that comes with a responsibility. What is that responsibility? That responsibility is simply, is simply having to show that to other people. Because me as being a five percenter, I may be a newborn, but you know I must teach what I already know. I I can't speak on the one to forty, the one to fourteens, because I haven't learned them the, the last Muslim lessons yet. But you know of what I have learned, like the, today's mathematics. You know I have learned them, so I must bring. I have that responsibility or else I'll be punished if I do not actually go out and teach the uncivilized people or the 85% how to be civilized, you know? You know, I just want to tell y'all that. So that's as simply as I can put it. Number two and three, today's mathematics, wisdom and understanding, you know, that just represents the responsibilities that come along with you not having full knowledge of something, the inner and outer circumference of something. You know how it works. You know what, what roles certain things play. Now this. What's two plus three? Two plus three is five, which is power will find. The power is a state of awareness that is righteousness that's creating, that's cleaning you of all your devilish negativity. Refinement is the clothing you wear. Once a person is, refi is refined and he is divine and has the power to destroy devilish men. How, what, how does that play into two and three, which equal five? You know, as simple as I can put it, you know, let's look at the first part. Power is a state of awareness that is righteousness that's cleaning yourself of all your devilish negativity. You know, that's that's what happens from understanding that power is understanding. You know, that's a state of awareness. You're aware of your actual surroundings. You know, not only the circumference of yourself, you've brought the equality of the circumference of your surroundings. You know how to act and how to deal with that. That brings extreme power. 
power attracts the wise and frees the dumb. You know, it attracts the wisdom, which is number two, the mathematics, and it frees you from that that devilish man which you've been, you know, which has been heaped upon you. You know, you freed yourself. So power finding the power is a state of awareness that's righteousness is cleaning you of all your devilish man, devilish negativity. You know, so that's how that plays into it. Now, refinement is a clothing ring. Once a person is refined, he is divine and has the power to destroy devilish men. As simply as I can put it, that you constructing your cipher of knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. You've come full circle. You've brought in equality, and you have that understanding. That understanding, in turn, protects you from the devil's civilization and takes that away. And by you having that understanding, and let's go back to today's mathematics, you know, which is how I see it is. It's the responsibility that comes with having understanding or knowing how something works. You have to give that to your brothers and sisters of the black nation, the original Asiatic black lost and found members of the tribe of Shabazz, right? And stuff. And that's what y'all got to do. So y'all have to take this. That's that responsibility that come with it. Anyways, going back to refinement, you know, refinement is clothing. Where he is a person who's divine, refined and he is divine and has the power to destroy devilish men. You feel me? So, that power, you know, that comes from knowing knowledge, you know, knowing that responsibility that comes with understanding, that wisdom that comes with understanding that you have to share. So the lots of found members or of the tribe of Shabazz or the Asiatic black nation, the so-called American Negro, whatever you want to call them, you feel me? So that, that that's what comes with it. And, you know. How, how does that destroy the devil's civilization? Because you're building positive. You're bringing in the equality. You're showing it to other folks. You're making sure that they know, you know, that's the responsibility that comes with us. So if any time, you know, you, us as five percenters, you know, also known as Muslims and Muslim sons, you know, us as five percenters, we must, any time a moment presents itself, you know, we have to bring that into fruition. Or also, you know, because understanding is a finished product. And then the second step, you know, the actual step of building, which is wisdom, you know, that's what we have to do. We have to build. We have to create. You know, if a moment does not present itself, if we can find a place that's just open, we got to turn that into a teachable moment. So if you see someone doing wrong, doing uncivilized work or doing devilish men, instead of calling them out, being like this, that, the third, if they're a member of the, you know, 85 percent or if they're, you know, a member of the black family, then we must turn that into a into a teachable moment. You feel me? You know, we must turn that into a teachable moment and do our job as righteous, poor, righteous teachers in the wilderness of North America. So that was me quickly building on today's mathematics. You know, I just wanted to tell y'all that I was building previously and I was just working my way through them and I felt it. So I had to tell y'all, because as I said, as today's mathematics dictates, that is the job of the righteous or civilized man. And that's how I see today's mathematics. Peace to all the gods on earth. This is Supreme Truth and Master. Uh, I also come in the name of the of in the righteous name of the mirror. So peace out of God's on the earth. Keep your vibrations up. Do not celebrate this demonic holiday which is coming up. You know, fast. Do not eat in the sunlight hours. I'm fasting, you know, I'm on my second day of fasting. I mean on my first day of fasting. But peace out of God's on the earth, word is bond. Allahu Akbar. MashaAllah.